Hey, Jane. Oh, there you are. The nurse told me you'd be out here getting some fresh air. Looks like the sun's coming. Hey. Thanks for visiting again, but you don't need to come here every day. You want your own life to live. Oh, please. We've been friends for... Seems like forever. I can remember when we first met. My parents had just moved to town. Everybody knows how difficult sixth grade can be. Especially when you're the new kid. Let's see, how long ago was sixth grade? How old are we now? Old. Well, they say you're only as old as you feel. Well, this last round of chemo has made me feel every bit my age and, and then some. I do remember the first time we met. Mr. Clark made you stand up in front of the whole class and introduce yourself. I thought for sure you'd faint right there in front of the blackboard. Yeah, it's pretty rough. It's not easy being the new kid, especially when the English teacher shines a spotlight on you. But all things considered, if that was the worst thing that happened to me that year, and it was, I can't really complain. I know. Life was so much simpler back then. Not a care in the world, except my homework and my chores. My most important decision of the day was, my most important choice was, what type of topping would I get on my pizza? Pepper and onion. <laughs> now, now the choice is between chemo Radiation. I, I don't think I'm going to beat this. Do you know? Do you know the odds of finding a suitable donor are 1 in 11 million? Don't you give up on me. I know the odds seem stacked against you. But you got to have faith. How's the pain? It, are you managing okay? I can deal with the pain, John. It's feeling all alone that I'm having such a hard time with. What do you mean? I, I, I come to visit you all the time, and when I went looking for you, I could see all these get well cards from all these people that truly care about you. It's not, it's not the people, John. I just feel empty inside. Oh, I used to feel God's presence. Oh, I, I can't really explain it, but he was with me in my heart, looking over me. And now, my most vulnerable point in my life, I don't feel him. Oh, Jane, God's still with you. He sacrificed his only son for all mankind, right? And that includes you. I can't help it. I know the Bible inside and out. I've studied it and read it since I was 12. But I... I don't feel it. It's... It's like I've been abandoned. Listen, I'm not judging you, but... I haven't seen you in church since... since your divorce. That was almost two years ago. Walking with Jesus is a... It's a, it's a two-way street. Sometimes you need to do some of the heavy lifting. I know. But I'm helpless. Jack left me. Now I'm, I'm trying to keep a roof over our heads. The bills are piling up. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to pay for college for Luke and Samantha. Right now, I don't have money in the savings account to pay for my funeral. I'm... I'm probably dying. And I'm going to leave an enormous financial burden on my kids. It's... It wasn't supposed to happen that way, John. Believe me, Jane, you're not the first one to feel like this. I... I've had questions, and I, I still do, and a million people before us do as well. We don't know God's plan. 
But sometimes we have to rely on faith to get us through the, through the tough times. Jane, I haven't, I haven't given up on you. And I'm not going to sit here and watch you give up on yourself. What am I supposed to do? I can't make myself feel something.